Now, Candace, one thing I need to inform you about this faces that you're looking at here, I promise you, every one of them are going to be in a voting place. Every one of them. No questions? Well, I got a question. I got a question. Where's Candace? Where's Candace? Where's Candace? She's coming, Daddy. She doesn't need one. She doesn't need one. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> well, boy, what does it take to get our brain out of Mexico? Carmen Brown. So the House is, uh, the House is, Republican House is behind getting the Marine out of co-sponsor of legislation to doing this. Quite frankly, I think all it would take is President Obama picking up the phone, calling the President of Mexico and saying, we're sending a helicopter down to get that Marine. Would you get it on there? And if the President says yes, we'll send a nice little helicopter. If he says no, we'll go find an Apache over at the Army Depot and send it. I don't think the President has taken the lead on this. I don't understand why there is no reason uh, Sergeant Tim Reese should be rotting in a jail in Mexico for an inadvertent mistake taking weapons into Mexico. I, I, I don't understand a lot of things the president does, but this one is top of the list of why the heck don't you just pick up the phone? Yeah. Here, here. Right. And Mr. Reed, do you, would, would you like to well, as a 25-year Marine veteran, I understand uh, very uh, much the effects that war has on our veterans. Uh, the Marine down in Mexico, uh, suffered from PTSD, uh, found himself at the wrong place at the wrong time. But, I, but uh, you know, I, I find it very uh, discomforting that we would be openly advocating for war with Mexico by sending Apaches in there to take our Marine out of the prison. There are other ways to affect the, the return of that uh, Marine back to the United States, to let the legal process work out, make sure that uh, he has the medical help he needs while he's down there, and continue to uh, uh, work effectively with the State Department, uh, both the government, the Mexico, and, and he has to come back home. He does. That's the bottom line. But to advocate for sending Apaches down across the border to seize a Marine in jail down there, I, I think is reckless, and, and I'll be coming to Congressman uh, that represents this district. Thank you. We have a representative here for, for Roxanne Simon. My name is Craig Cleveland. I'm the Rams County Chair for the Libertarian Party. Roxanne would have loved to have been here, but we only got notice last night of this event. And she couldn't reschedule her work. Um, <clears throat> but I know her views pretty well. Bottom line is we can bear, bring down economic pressure. We don't need to send Apache helicopters. And we don't uh, need to have President Obama make the call. Congress needs to do their job and start bringing some economic sanctions down on Mexico. And I'll tell you, we'd have them back like that. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. Mayor candidates, mm -hmm. okay. What do they see to bring education up from the second most illiterate city in the United States to bring it up to above a 50% percentile of a national standard. Did y'all hear that? What do the mayor candidates think they're going to do 